all on its own and got right to the end and made a little jump and they were perfectly even. Perfectly even. And that woman got up. They told Dr. Fiorentino says, get up, get up. All right, move, move. That woman went to moving and swinging and, and bending and bowing and, and just, and the place just roared, just roared. Praising God. Yes. Praising God. Yes. Praising the name yes. of Jesus. God is the God that does it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. And He'll do it through any one of His children. God intended for the church to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Not just have the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what denominational background you may have come from, but there's been a lie that's present, been presented into the church of Jesus Christ that when you got saved, you got it all. No, you didn't. Amen. There is a second filling that's an overflow filling. It means a total immersion. And Jesus would not let, after He gave them the Holy Spirit, after He gave them the Holy Spirit, he said, don't leave until you get the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Now, I was talking about expectation a moment ago. You, how many ladies have given or had been pregnant before? Okay. Whether you delivered or not or whatever, you've been pregnant. Some delivered. Where's that baby get? How's that baby getting its oxygen inside? How? How? The umbilical cord. When the baby comes out, for the first few moments, how's the baby still getting its oxygen? Umbilical, umbilical cord. It's still there. It's out. It's alive. But guess what? If the child does not b learn to breathe on its own, how many women you see walking around with the umbilical cord still attached to the baby? None. Won't work. Won't work. Won't work at all. And see, we got Christians all over America that are still just like that. Just like that. The cord has to be cut and they have to breathe on their own. And we're all alive today because we did. That's right. We did. And that's the way God birthed the church into being. He breathed on His disciples and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. But don't go anywhere till you get the fullness of God. A baptism of the Holy Spirit. What's the purpose of it? That you will be able to believe God for the miraculous. No matter what is going on, you're not under the circumstances. You're above the circumstances. You're walking in the power and the promises of God. Just like we sang a moment ago, standing on the promises of God that cannot fail. Amen. They cannot fail. They cannot fail. They cannot fail. Amen. God keeps His word, ladies and gentlemen, Amen. and He will do it for every single one of His children. He intends to prove Him strong in your life. Yes. For you to go to your neighbor or whoever it is that's sick or that's got cancer and say, you don't have to die. That's right. God Almighty can make you live. Oh yeah, I know God still, He heals. But I don't know if He'll heal me. Well, that's why you get, I get into the Word of God. See, Romans 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you need a $5 million miracle and you've only got five cent faith, you got to do some work. you got to do some work. And if you come up here ten times and we smear oil all over you and lay hands on you and everything and you don't get it, well, keep coming back. Because the day that your faith lines up with the Word of God and that you suddenly know that it's done, it'll be done. But not one second before. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, sir. Not one second before. If you will believe, if you will confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has healed you, you shall be healed. Yes. Romans 10, 8 through 13.
Now that's speaking of salvation, but everything else that we get, we get from God the same identical way. For without faith, it is impossible to please God, for he that cometh to God it is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. In other words, expecting, expecting. That's what hope is. Hope isn't, isn't, uh, his, hope isn't there. Hope isn't there. But faith and hope together makes it happen. Can you say amen? Yeah. Is there anybody, stand to your feet, is there anybody in here today who wants to get hands laid on? You want to get delivered of something? You want to get healed of something? You want to receive the blessing of God this morning? Whatever it is and whatever it might be, God is able to meet your need. Amen? Yeah. God can do it. Yes, He can. Yes, He can. You're alive today. You're a walking miracle of God. Because God keeps His Word. Yes, He does. Can you say amen? Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Go forth, the Bible says. Go. First two letters of God is go. First three letters of Satan is sat. sat. Or you could make it a D in sad. But uh, you don't do anything. God expects us to do something. Take the faith that you've got, the power of the name of Jesus. Peter and John said this. Peter did. He said, silver and gold have I none, but what I've got. Where did he get it? From Jesus. And so is every one of you. You've got the same identical thing that Peter, James, and John have got. You do. You do. You've got it. It's in you. Let it out. Let it out. Trust God to back up His Word. Just because, and don't let, don't get discouraged if it don't happen because it's not dependent upon you, it's dependent upon the person. Amen? Amen. Keep, keep sowing seed and then you'll reap a harvest. Keep sowing, keep sowing, keep sowing and you'll reap. Alright, praise God. Take somebody's hand.